Hey there, I'm here with Daisy. She's starting our off-leash training program today. We've been working with the slip collar a little bit and now I'm ready to figure out what level I need to start conditioning her with the e-collar. So she's got her e-collar on here and we got a treat bag. She loves some treats. Here you go. Mmm. So what I'm gonna do is start at level one and I'm gonna work my way slowly up until we figure out what level she tells us she feels it. So what I'm really looking for is she might close her mouth, she might perk her ears up, she might sit down, she might look to the side and act like there's something on her. I'm just kind of looking for any kind of sign that she might feel there's something there. Uh, you really want to try this in a low distraction environment. You don't want anything going on. You don't really want to be moving around a lot. The dogs can already hear what's going on outside near other dogs in the neighborhood. Um, you really want a low distraction environment so that they can really pay attention to that. You may see some reaction to things on the road or things in the backyard and stuff like that. I really want to see a reaction to the key collar button. So we're going to start here at one. There's nothing there. Two. She just wants another tree. Come on. Yeah, there's three. I'll give you a treat for that. Yeah, okay. Alright, so now what she's doing is she's just sitting. <laughs> because she knows she can earn a treat. Come here. Interesting. I'll give you a treat for that. <laughs> She's very smart. You know why they earn those treats, huh? Okay. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, good girl. All right, so we got up to level 12, and I still did not feel like I was getting any kind of reaction. I feel like the sitting and the laying down is coming from a place of her knowing there's a treat bag. There's a treat bag involved, <laughs> and she knows how to earn treats. Yes, I see you. All right, so we're gonna do nine again.
total 34. This is either a really tough dog or we're having some contact issues. So I know she has some really pretty curly hair. It could be that the contact points aren't touching her or it could be the contact points are touching her too closely. So what I'm gonna do now is kind of adjust my collar fit here because it's kind of silly and, and you know, it's a really high level to be starting a dog at, especially when she's telling me she can just barely feel it. So I'm gonna double check my collar. We're gonna let it out. And I'm gonna scoot it around a little bit just to make sure that it's actually getting underneath the hair. It's kind of like, you know, when you comb through your hair, you can feel your scalp through it. If you do this, it's the same thing. All right. So now, we're going to start again. Let's see here. I will probably start you at four. That was 16. Did you see that? I can actually see her muscles rippling underneath all of that. Pretty curly fur. All right, so let's go back to nine. There's no way she's not feeling that. So she's literally, she's just not even telling me that she's feeling it. She's just a tougher dog. <laughs> yeah, the Adrian got your hands full, huh? <laughs> there you go, Cooper family, you got a tough dog. All right, so I can see, even at nine, I can see her muscles right here moving. And this is where my collar is right here. So I know she's feeling it because I can see it moving. So let me go back down. I can see it moving at seven, six, and at five. Caller, and we will keep you guys updated. All right.